Hello everyone. If you're here, it means you're willing to try out mods or you're willing to get rid of that stinky Beepin X loader that's been not loading the best mods for you in Sons of the Forest. Now, it's very simple. Only several steps. All you gotta do is follow what I do. So, first things first. If you have ever, lo mo ever loaded mods with Beepin X, such as websites such as Thunderstore, Nexus, and whatnot, nothing to do with melon loader you may see in your local files folder some folders that were installed by beepinx what you will have to do before getting melon loader is you will have to delete or get beepinx off of your local files and the only way to really successfully do that is of, of course i do not have the files here because i haven't installed any mods with thunderstore or nexus that use the loader called beepinx but what i would do is i would actually take all of this and delete it and once i've done that i would go back to steam go here manage and then uninstall and once it's uninstalled I'd reinstall it and once it's done you will have a clean local files folder you do not have to worry about losing any of your saves because your saves are actually not stored in your local files folder they are stored in your app data folder to demonstrate you go to the app data local low and night some of the forest saves and you see all my saves are here. These are not in my local files folder for Steam and Sons of the Forest. Now, first things first, getting the .NET 6 framework. So this, the link to this will be in the description. What you will want to get, and this is required for loading Melon Loader, is the .NET 6.0 framework. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Now, I already have it installed, so it's probably going to say it's already installed, but I'm just going to install, install it again just to demonstrate. Go here, open it, and then you press install. Yes. And while, while this is doing this, you're basically done with this. You don't have to do anything else. It's installing. You can just minimize this. Next step, we have to get Melon Loader. This will also be in the description. Um, it will take you to the Melon Loader website. You will go to Automated Installation. Number one, download MelonLoader.installer.exe. Go ahead and install that. I already have it installed, but I'm just going to install it again. And once it's installed, go open the exe. Now, once this is here, it will go to your settings. And I already have it enabled, but you want to show alpha pre-releases. And when, if Sons of the Force is installed, you will go to your Unity game, select, and you will find your Sons of the Force local files folder. And you will take the exe application file, open it, and then press install. Now, you're almost done. Next, last and final step is getting your mods. So if we go to the local files again, the Sons of the Forest, you'll see that I now have these new folders. So your mods folder is what you will be putting your mod files into. BeepinX does not load the mods for you. You will have to put it in your mods folder and certain mods that can be configured will be configured in this folder, the user data folder. Now, the website I recommend most for getting mods, SOTF-mods. So we can get mods such as the debug console, red dot site, infinite zip lines, chat GPT Kelvin, stuff like that. To demonstrate, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Kelvin GPT mod. This allows me to talk to Kelvin in a chat GPT manner and give him commands such as what it says here. So we would in download. And when you click install, you'll be given a DLL file. I already have this. I'm not actually going to uninstall it because I already have the Kelvin GPT mod, which I can find in this folder that I keep everything backed up in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Once you have it installed, you would copy that, the DLL file. Copy it. Go to back to your local files folder. Now you can either drag it or you can paste it. It's up to you. So we'll put that in there. Now, some other mods may require you to do a, an extra step, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that too. So, one of the mods I know that requires you to do an extra step is the this one. 
So it turns your chainsaw into um, Cheetah, Chainsaw Man. So I'm going to download that. So as you can see, there's two things here. The folder and then your overall DLL. I guess we'll just install it. So we do a zip. Open that zip. And cool. Okay, take your DLL. We'll go ahead and, oops, drag that to the mods folder. And then what you will have to do is create a folder in your mods folder that's the same name as this. So we name it Chainsaw to Pachita. I spelled it wrong. Hold on. Make sure you want to spell it right. Usually you can cause uh, an issue if you don't. <laughs> Now when that's created, you'll open it, you'll open this, copy these, I'll just drag them, go ahead and stick it there, should be good. Now let's go ahead and uh, fire up Sons of the Forest, see if this stuff works. Now when you install Melon Loader, you'll see this little command prompt, it just means everything's working. You'll see it's checking to see everything is going here, it'll even say if the mods are loaded, it can take a minute if you've just gotten mods. But as you can see, uh, the mods have been detected and they're being loaded, two mods loaded. This is my little map. Now, when I said to uninstall everything, I actually reinstalled some of the forest before making this video and you'll see that all my worlds are still here. It's all stored in the cloud. You will never lose it. All right, now that we're in, the first mod we can go ahead and test out is the Chainsaw to Pachita mod. So go down here. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. It might just be an overall bug with the mod itself. It means the mod is working. It's just uh, as you can tell, the reach skin does not work. Um, the second mod we did was the Kelvin GPT mod. So we're going to go ahead and enable Cheat Stick. So if we go up to him, we should be able to press T. And there we go, we can ask him something. Hey, how are you doing today? Success. And that's really about it. That's how you get your mods. Um, for any questions and support, you can join the official Sons of the Forest Discord for the subreddits r slash Sons of the Forest and r slash The Forest. We'd be willing to help you in the channel called SOTF-Modding. I hope you all have a very good day.